Hello friends! Today I am back with a new video, and this one is not a speed build, which is a first on this channel, but this is, um, this one has a bit of a story. So, <laughs> I'm painting my cat into rain paint because this was not just a weird idea I had and then I was like, okay, I'll turn it into a YouTube video. I had charity streams a while ago. Um, you've probably heard me talk about this a lot if you've been watching my videos for a few months or just a few weeks. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't tell time anymore. I don't know how long it's been. But I've been I, I did some charity streams and one of my charity incentives was paint my cats in terrain paint. So here it is. <laughs> I decided to paint my cat curry because I have two cats. I have Coco and I have curry. Um, but Coco is a black cat and there is not a single black cat terrain paint in the game so it would be impossible like I used the darkest colors in this one and then I was like yeah there's no way I can do my other cat as well because there's just not enough colors for it um so if you're like wow it looks a little bit weird and the colors are weird that's because there's just not enough options it's not like I'm painting you know what I mean <laughs> it's not like I can just mix colors and make it make sense um there is just I struggled but I think it looks really good at the end <laughs> my first attempt was really really bad um it it looked like literal poo um just a big stain on <laughs> the lot to be honest yeah i i like it <laughs> i like how this one turned out I, you might be looking at it right now and be like wow there is no way that this is gonna turn out good but the end it actually kind of looks like my cat so it that that's a win <laughs> for all of us um it took me about an hour it so not that long but here's the problem right i would have loved to add more details but the brush doesn't go small enough for me to add more details and there's not enough colors um most of the colors are like green or they're stone i can't use stone on my cats because it will look like stone on my cats um you i tried drawing lines with it as like a more grayish color it looks ridiculous it doesn't look good um, also, my cat's eyes aren't this green, but it was the closest we could get. <laughs> but I really liked it. I had a lot of fun doing this. It's really strange and different from anything else, but I thought it was fun. Um, I think, I don't remember who I saw doing this. If you have any idea who this is, let me know. Um, and I'll put it in like the comments or something. But I've seen someone draw YouTubers into rain paint um on tiktok so i was like oh my god i can do that <laughs> except i'm not gonna draw people because I, it's already been done i want to draw something else so i'm gonna draw my cats because i love my cats so i did um so i made this beautiful <laughs> lovely piece of art <laughs> i'm like surprised though with how how this actually went pretty well like I was not expecting the end result to look anything like a cat, um, mostly because I tried to have like a grid system because I was like, the sim does grids, like it will be easier if I have like grids on the picture and then I can like actually make it look accurate. But then I realized the grids in the sims when you're trying to draw are so confusing because there's like, you have the grids and then you have the quarter grids and it just becomes com completely like a disaster your eyes cannot figure out what's going on anymore if you're trying to like figure out where the lines go definitely when you're like really zoomed out so did not do that i just i i just went for it put in some shapes and then tried to figure out where things were supposed to go um so it might not be that accurate but i did my best um i did a lot of art as a kid i I've, i draw people sometimes but i haven't really in like a very long time it's been like a year <laughs> um i go through like periods of time with my art like i draw either a lot in like a month or i don't draw at all for like six months um i think a lot of people have this with the sims to be honest that you like get really into it or you just forget about it that's how i am with drawing I either don't draw at all or I draw like four drawings in like a week. Um, so yeah, I'm not very consistent at this kind of thing. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm just not. Um, and I, also, I have to cut out me coughing out of this video, which is really annoying. 
I have a cough right now. It's really annoying. Um, it kind of hurts. You know, when, like underneath my ribs, it's so sore. It's really upsetting. It's because I coughed like a lot during the weekend. Um, so like my like under where my ribs are is like genuinely sore from coughing a lot and it hasn't gone away yet um as of me recording this now <laughs> so that's frustrating hopefully it will go away soon because i'm getting kind of tired of it i wish i didn't have a cough anymore definitely because you know covid right now it's really embarrassing to have a cough and be out the house um because i've taken two covid tests um both came back negative i'm gonna take another one before i go to school tomorrow um uh, because I feel guilty about not being 100% sure. And there are self-tests which aren't like 100% accurate. I mean, I guess not a single COVID test is 100% accurate, but like I, if I have like three negative tests, I feel like there's no way they would all be bad tests. So I'm just gonna hope that the, I don't have COVID. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm doing my best, um, but yeah, that sucks. I think I just have a cold and my body's just suffering because I've been coughing so much. I feel fine outside of that. I'm just tired because it hurts. <laughs> um, so that's not good. But we are doing press conferences in school right now. That is a fun thing I want to tell you about. I don't like it. I don't like doing presentations. It's stressful. Um, a press conference is just like a worse version of a presentation, I guess, because you can't prepare your story beforehand. You can only prepare like the first part and then people ask you questions for 20 minutes. So that's very scary, but we're doing it in groups, so that's good. Uh, I'm nervous. We're doing it tomorrow um, as me recording this. When By the time you see this, it'll, it'll be done. Like it'll have been a few days, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have like a whole sheet prepared of things I need to say. We have like a bunch of things planned out. We have like answers to questions people could possibly ask. And I don't really have to answer most of the questions anyway. Um, it's mostly everyone else is gonna be answering the questions, but I feel like my role in this press conference is very different from things I usually do. So it makes me nervous because I have to like lead it um, instead of just giving answers. I just have to like lead the thing everything like when people want to ask questions i have to like pick who gets to ask the question and like um who needs to answer the question on like the press conference table <laughs> so i don't know how i'm gonna do that yet i'm a little bit nervous um not gonna lie i was sweating a lot and i might have cried about it <laughs> um yesterday night when everyone was like oh yeah this is what we're doing and i was like oh good to know that i have absolutely no clue what the plan is um so I feel really good about it. Not at all stressed out or worried. Anyway, <laughs> this is not what you came here for, but I like to use this as my podcast and, um, you know, we're friends. So <laughs> you can listen to my rants about my life, but thank you for watching. I hope you like this kind of ridiculous video. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun filming it and um, yeah, hopefully I'll do something weird like this again at some point. If you have any ideas for what else I could paint, let me know. If you like this, I can make it a series. Do it like once a month. I don't know. <laughs> let me know. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.